Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. In this week's episode, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't go to university. Let's go. Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. So, <clears throat> slight deviation again this week from, from necessarily the recruitment world, but I'm going to try and explain why, in my opinion, um, you shouldn't go to university. And there's quite um, a, a number of reasons for that. So, the old adage used to be, go to school, do your GCSEs, go to, a, go to sick form or college, get your A-levels and go on to university and get a good job at the end of it. And that is absolutely fine if you know what you want to do in life, you go and have a purpose for going to university. So if you want to be a doctor, a barrister, a solicitor, an accountant, you can't really do that without going to university. It's the quickest way, it's the easiest way, it's the most effective way. And I would always advocate if they're the type of professions that you want to get into at the end of your career, sorry, at the end of your education, absolutely go to university. However, I interview hundreds of candidates, all of whom have been to university, have got themselves into debt, haven't learned the necessarily necessary skills for an employed role. Um, because let's be fair, you go to university and the aim is to retain as much information as possible so that you can regurgitate it in an exam setting and they don't even teach you the real world. Let's be fair, at school, in my opinion, they should be teaching personal finance, mortgages, credit card debts, good debts, bad debts, interest rates, inflation, how that impacts your wealth. They don't teach any of that. They teach you Pythagoras' theorem, which I've not used since I was at school. So they teach you all this information um, about things that you need to retain to get through an exam. But in the real world, that doesn't have any relevance. If I said to you now, name me one famous date that you can remember from all of your schooling in terms of a date in history, it'll probably be 1066, the Battle of Hastings, because everybody did it. Everybody remembers that date and everybody knows it was the Battle of Hastings. What relevance is that in, in today's society? Absolutely none. You need to hone real life skills and you can't do that from a textbook. You need to get out into the real world. Learn about selling. Learn how to sell. If you don't want to go down the traditional route of doctor, nurse, accountant, solicitor, barrister, learn how to sell. Teach yourself how to sell. Go and get a job and learn how to sell. And get a job that's going to enable you to earn a lot of money if you become really good at selling. Most jobs that you do are going to involve an element of selling. You're selling yourself, you're selling a product, you're selling a service. It leads to a lot more opportunities. It opens a lot more doors. Go and get good at social media and build a social media brand and, and a presence online so that people want to associate themselves with yourself. Again, the world is ever changing. 20 years ago, social media wasn't a thing. Now, if you've not got a good social media presence, you're kind of really struggling. So go and learn the relevant skills that are going to make you really good and employable and potentially entrepreneurial if that's the route that you want to go down. Who says you need to go into the working life, get a job and be uh, working for somebody else for the rest of your life? That doesn't also happen. You can be entrepreneurial. If you don't want to take the risks, and we've covered this in a previous um, video, be entrepreneurial. Go and work for a company like Rogers McHugh where they embrace entrepreneurial thinking, where we're constantly trying to come up with new ideas and promote people within the team into senior positions um, and really pushing that entrepreneurial flair within the team. Don't go to university for the sake of it. You come out in debt. You aren't prepared for the real world. You're three or four years behind your peers who actually went into the working world. And, and moreover, I was reading an article earlier this week, which is one of the things that prompted this. 20 years ago, there was a 45% premium on salaries if you came out of university. So if you came out of university, on average, your salary would be 45% higher than somebody that didn't have a degree. That's now 15%. So in 2023, if you've got a degree, your salary is likely to be 15% more than somebody that's not got a degree. The difference is they've got four years real life experience. They've got four years 
in the working world experience. They've got four years of earnings behind the belt. They've got four years of experiences that they've been able to afford under the belt. You've got four years of reading out of a textbook, um, going to lectures every day, probably enjoying the university life because let's, let's be fair, it's, it's a good crack for four years. But you've got four years worth of debt as well. So I'm not saying university isn't right for everybody so please don't all jump on the bandwagon and start slagging me off for that if you've got a clear goal of where you want to be and that that involves going to university and because you want to be a doctor you want to get into a profession you want to be a nurse you want to be an accountant you want to be a solicitor you want to be a barrister absolutely fine if that isn't for you don't do it just for the sake of doing it go into the real world get a job Go and teach yourself skills that, that are going to be important moving forward in your career and go and enjoy yourself and find out what, the, what ticks your boxes and what gets you going in the morning and what, what job you want to do. So, hope you've enjoyed that. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. I'm sure I've got some um, education um, people that watch the videos and, and I'm sure they're going to come at me and say, no, it's not true, go to university, etc etc and I'm always open to hearing a difference of opinion um, this is my opinion there's going to be many more out there so if you do have a strong opinion on it make sure you put it in the comments but most importantly subscribe to the channel we're trying to, trying to get the subscriber levels up um, we want these videos to reach as many people as possible and unfortunately without subscribers that doesn't happen the YouTube algorithms love subscribers so tell your mum tell your grand tell your mum tell your dad Tell your brother, tell your sister, get everybody to subscribe. Watch the backlog of catal the back catalogue of videos because there's quite a few up there now. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. And I'll see you next week at the same time for the next video. See you then.